Hey guys, it's Drummond and stuff 93 and I don't rem I don't know if you guys recognize the inside of this, but it is the Dell Dimension 4550. So basically somebody asked me really nicely but if I could do a video on how to like kind of keep these older machines like running good today. So first thing I'd like to talk about is the graphics. So this is an upgraded card. The ones in this thing are pretty bad. Like, I'm not sure if you could watch YouTube very well in, like, decent definition. So I upgraded to this. So where did I get this, you might ask? Well, if you look on this old case, down in the bottom, it says NVIDIA GeForce FX 5200 XT graphics card. So this was my parents' old computer that they used um, before. It had an, it's the HP Pavilion A642N, and it had an Athlon 64 processor, but the motherboard went bad in this. So I just decided instead of replacing all these capacitors, just to give them the Dell. So here's some of the specs of this here, and I took most of the parts out of this and put it into the Dell, except like the main parts like the CPU and motherboard and stuff. So hard drive, I put in that hard drive up on the top is a Segate 200 gig hard drive. Sorry about the flashlight, guys. It's hard to get light in a case like this, so I just got a little flashlight. Um, and then the original hard drive. Down here, I put in extra RAM, so it's up to 700 megs. This thing with a BIOS update, I believe, can go to like two gigs or something pretty good. So I'd upgrade it as much as you'd like for RAM. Possibly CPU. I still have the original CPU right in there. Of course, it's going to get a lot hotter with a better Pentium 4 CPU. That's about it for tips. I just say upgrade whatever you need. Definitely the graphics card. Definitely the RAM. And probably the hard drive because a 30 gig hard drive for most people is not enough. So... I just put the main operating system on the 30 gig, and then put any programs I, that lets you choose where you want to install. I put all those on the 200 gig and all the files on the 200 gig because they easily had like 40 gigs of worth of files. So definitely needed that extra storage room. Kept the floppy drive in there. Don't use it much, but it works. I tested it. I have bunches of cases old floppies. Next thing I need to replace is that little guy right there. The battery, because this thing cannot keep hold of time. So try to find the battery for this if you can. Other than that, there's not a whole lot, guys. If you'd like to see more videos, don't remember your name. I'll put your I'll put your channel name down in the description. So go look in the description for his channel name or her. I don't know. Don't remember. Spacing out. Oh, well, I'll put your channel name down in the description, and if you have any, if anybody has any more questions on this machine, just put them in the comments, and I will do another video on them, on it, because this is a pretty nice machine. I like it for being an older machine. It just is a good machine all around, so guys, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash drumming and stuff. Have a great day. Peace out.